Hello and welcome to week two of our Lent series with Dust and Glory. I'm Dorinda. Before we start the theme for which this week is all about sin, let's take a moment or two to just pause, to be still, to become aware of God's presence in us and around us. You might like to close your eyes and just take a few deep breaths as we come into an awareness of his presence with us now. The heading for today's reading is Come Back Sin, All is Forgiven. The Bible verses are taken from Romans chapter 3 verses 21 to 26 and one of them says, All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Sin is a word and concept that's found its way into our popular culture and everyday language but instead of referring to the utter depravity of the human condition. It's now used as something to be associated with eating something you couldn't, shouldn't, um, or telling a little fib, said in inverted commas with a little wink. A fun phrase that indicates that something is naughty but nice. What happened to sin? Sin for Christians is really about separation from God it's about the choices we make and the temptations we fall victim to that are contrary to what God wants for us. Sin is really about ruptured relationships with God, with one another and ourselves, between individuals and communities in small and big ways. Sin keeps us isolated, hopeless and suffering. As I think about broken relationships, I realise that often it's a question of perspective. We see things very clearly in our way, but the other person sees them equally clearly in their way. And sometimes we just have to forgive them and recognise that we can't change their perspective. Only God can do that. And actually, we just have responsibility for ourselves and we can ask him to help us with our perspective and um, pray for his healing between us. Let's take a moment of contemplation to consider now our, what relationships we have in our lives that aren't as, they, as you would wish them to be and to ask God to help you bring healing to those relationships. Let's pray together. Lord, I know I'm a sinner. I rejoice that you sent your only son to die for my sins, that I might be redeemed and saved by your love. Amen. May your week go well and may God give you his strength and bless you with his peace.